my fashion narrate. <laughs> this is a long corridor. <laughs> so we're gonna take the trail from Laura and McCleary Park to Forest, or sorry, to Piddock Mansion. Redo. I Edit. Redo cut. <laughs> our first morning in Portland hiking to the best view of the city. At the peak, you can actually tour inside the mansion, but we walked outside for the view instead. The sandwich was pretty good, but I enjoyed the fries more. The fries were tossed in a variety of herbs, which really stood out to me. Because it was Saturday, we got to check out the Saturday market. It is the largest continuously operated market in the US. From the market, we walked and biked along Waterfront Park. After the fish sauce chicken wings, we also ordered a condensed milk affogato. The sweetness of the ice cream paired really well with the bitterness of the espresso. our day trip out to the scenic parts of Oregon. We ventured out in the early morning and had a late lunch back in Portland. Because there was a wait to park at Multnomah Falls, we decided to skip it for that day. This is allegedly his first time bow. Good. It's gonna then will soon make your life more exciting. Oh. Washington Park was close to our Airbnb, so we decided to walk and enjoy the Rose Garden before heading to dinner. Afuri is most known for their ramen. I was surprised by how light and refreshing it tasted. Because the base is yuzu shio, it had a more citrusy flavor, and I really liked it. <laughs> On our last day, we woke up early to try to go back to Multnomah Falls. Due 
Due to the fire last year, many areas were still inaccessible. I would have liked to have gotten closer to the waterfall. We got the OG on the left and orange olive oil on the right. Kiriko was a treasure to find. Their brand recycles Japanese fabric to create unique pieces. Honestly, it was hard to resist buying everything in the store. We wandered the Japanese gardens for about an hour before meeting my friend at Salt and Straw. This popular ice cream establishment is known for their eccentric flavors. Because our flight was delayed by about three hours, we spent the rest of our time in Portland eating whatever else we could. We ate half our pizza and headed towards Pine Street Market. Unfortunately, many places were closed for Labor Day, so our options were limited. Luckily, we had some time to chill a bit at Powell's Bookstore before they closed. Go! Trust me, you won't hit that pole at all. I got that, trust me, I got it. <laughs> 